I'm a magician. I should call him as a scientist because he's a space scientist retired from. I S R Shivkumar is the student of uh, Dr. Dr. Especially to the school children, he is a mentor to many of the school children. He he purposely uh, actively involved in mentoring students to various uh, various uh, destinations. Especially one of one of his as a uh, one of his uh, um, idea is that is the founder of the destination I S R the Computer and Mathematics. Uh, I invite an extended cordial uh, welcome to Dr. T.P. Sashimha. Do we have the science which we really realize or everything what we have around do we able to realize it? Even if you realize it, how do you make people to understand? Whatever I realize the science which I have got a feeling, Anubhavam. But my Anubhavam can be transferred to you as Anubhavam or not is my question. Can I share my experience? Is it possible? What is the taste of a juice, orange juice? You may feel that it is sore because your last juice was sore, but for me it is tasty, right? So everything what I feel, what I experience cannot be shared. If you can share it, you are a real philosopher. A philosopher is a vakmi who have got a dirga drishti, who has got a darshanigan, he is called a darshanigan, who can explain things which is understandable by somebody else. That is why when you do a PhD, you get a doctor of philosophy. Whether you do it in science or arts doesn't make a difference. So I can explain things which is convincing to somebody else. Then you become a philosopher. I remember uh, when I was an MSc student, I and Hastin, one of the theorem I disproved. I said that's wrong. But then it took some time for somebody to convince me, saying that your uh, explanation was wrong. I remember sir telling me that you know, better you become an advocate so that uh, whatever right things you can also prove it into wrong. <laughs> and that curse has become me a gift in my life because I took my LLB later. <laughs> I keep saying this. That's why I keep remembering sir all the time. <laughs> Sometimes you should have courage to say that this is wrong. Do you have the courage? Or do you just believe what our teachers say? Do you have the courage to ask questions? Hmm? Then you are a good student at whatever level you are. That is what is proved by science. Somebody can say that I am going to show you. You believe this. But then you will have questions like theory of relativity is being questioned. A lot of things are being questioned. So science has got its own contradictions and conflicts in its definition itself. Whatever we said earlier was one of the planet after few years we are saying it's not a planet why because the microscope or the scope which we had was gone or we got a better scope right therefore when we look at uh, cell biology up to 10 power minus 6 that becomes microbiology and one of the hottest topics in india one of the time was microbiology a lot of people started msc in microbiology they're all doing useless job now they all go for msw I have seen a lot of students when I go to some of the universities to teach MSW students, I ask them what is your background. They will say biotechnology and microbiology. Why? Because after the course I am not getting any job. Because the scope is gone. It has become scopeless. Because 10 power minus 6 zoom is micro. 10 power minus 9 zoom came. Nano. So when nanotechnology came into effect, microbiologists lost their job. Do you think nanotechnology will stay for longer? So science, do we think that science will stay, whatever we prove today will become true ultimately in the life? I don't think. I am sure if a wise mathematics student read my PhD thesis, he will find a lot of mistakes there. And he will say, whatever I have written is wrong. And he will also get a PhD, my PhD will not go. Safe thing, once you get a PhD finished, you can always say I am doctor of mathematics. PhD is perspiration, humiliation and degradation. Permanent head damage. <laughs> you will not, you will not be able to do. I keep saying in mathematics, what is PhD? Knowing more and more about less and less is PhD, right? So mathematics people have got a tendency. Anything more and more will put into infinity. Anything less and less will put it into zero. So what is PhD? Knowing everything about nothing is PhD. So it's not. What I'm trying to say is, knowledge is not. Knowledge is not getting a degree in science or arts. 
when I, my son after plus one plus two wanted to do graduation, he, I asked him what you want to learn. Is it you want to learn economics? I said fine, but you have to learn mathematics with economics. I insisted to him to do mathematics with economics. That is why he went for B.Sc. Economics, where he studies statistics, mathematics, and economics together. Because when you go for research, we found that people can't do. We I teach for management students. One of the topic which I teach was research methodology. It's all totally statistics. So if you don't understand the statistics, you cannot do anything in research. Recently, I was in one of the medical colleges. Uh, talking to the uh, doctors there and after that all the PG students came to my house. Next day they were the 25 students were in my house. They asked me why. Sir, we have a paper research methodology. We don't understand whether it is. Because they chose biology because they don't like mathematics. And found that when they wanted to PG course, they have to learn the basic research methodology is totally statistics, mathematics. They found that they are not able to understand that. So if you hate mathematics and therefore you want to go to biology, finished. Many people go for this program. I see a lot of people giving career counseling without even understanding what is the future in their life. Many people say, I don't want to become a teacher or I, don't want, I want to become a doctor. You ask any doctor in any medical college, they have to teach. They have no option. You want to go for engineering because you don't want teaching. You become an engineer in one of the places where you get to go into PhD, definitely you will have to teach. My first teaching was in engineering college, Vishwasharya College of Engineering. Where I was teaching engineering students on electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, all the branches of engineering. So you cannot give away without learning and then you cannot live without teaching. Therefore, every student is a teacher. Raman was also a wonderful teacher. Remember, the last day before he was dying, he had a meeting in which he said what is to be done in his institute. And he was not ready to die in the hospital. He said, I want to go back to my lab and die there because I want to talk to my... And he had a board meeting of the directors and the senior people in the day. Just one day before he uh, took his last birth, 80, 82 years old, 1970. Remember, you have to become a real student a student of science, I am sure there is no retirement. When the introduction was given, you were telling that the professor retired. I, we were telling you, you never retired. A teacher can never retire. A professor can never retire. You love teaching and your life is with the teaching. Similarly, science is one. We cannot say that I am out of science in my life. Everyone has got science. What is the contribution of science and technology is going together all the time because what we experiment with the science is what is useful for a human being and the real application becomes technology. There is a uh, wave theory here, the wave theory which transfer one wave into another wave and then that wave will get transferred into something else and that wave will get transferred into your speaker to become another sound again. That is science. But the technology is what is you are seeing here. Right? So science Visible science is what is technology. So people keep asking what is the development of technology in this country, development of science in this country. I keep saying we had fat is it happening. There is an old proverb which says intention or maybe necessity is the eh? mother of invention. So we is the father of invention. <laughs> it is the human being. We start thinking we have what is to be done. That's wrong. That's an old proverb. I have a great fun of looking at old proverbs and correcting it back. I have a book, Life Reflections. That's only on proverbs. Why do I say this? There was nobody who wanted a satellite. We made satellite and sent it. There was no requirement of a telephone. Somebody invented a telephone and therefore people are using it. Is it necessity that forces invention? I don't think. Some crazy scientist will start thinking something and he makes something and then people started using it. That's it. I don't know how many of you heard uh, the seventh, uh, uh, seventh generation computers where I don't require a uh, seventh generation telephones. You don't require a telephone at all. You require only a camera and a ear and with a memory. I can press now and then dial. The pressing need not be on the screen of your telephone. It can be on your hand. I can project it like a projector you are projecting and on the board as I pressing, I am pressing it. The Misra's lecture, you can listen to Misra's lecture. He's a wonderful man. He says, I don't want, he want to read a book. You have seen that uh, uh, 
movie Rajinikanth is reading books by scanning, right? It was only a movie, but practically people are doing it now. Because you can scan everything. And that can be converted into uh, knowledge. Then question comes, what is knowledge? Is it only assimilating and keeping uh, information or analyzing and using it for people? Once you use it and experience it, that is what is science. That's what we call it. So definition of science, I will keep uh, storing it up to this only. We could speak hours together on this. But then the, what is nation building? We all have a national pledge, right? That's where we listen to the word nation first. I keep wondering the biggest crime which we have. And when you see the pledge, what is there inside them? The word nation is not there. I love my country. I don't know how many students have asked or had a question, what is the difference between country and nation? Eh? Country and nation, what is the difference? Country is with the boundary, geography. Nation is the feeling which you have. Nationality is what is asked. But there is some places where they don't have nationality. I can say I am an Indian. But no American will say I am an American. The feeling is not there. They may say I am from America. But they don't say that I am an American. The feeling of American is not there. Therefore they will say, oh countrymen. Right? They must say country only they will ask. But here we will ask every form nationality. Do you feel for your country? And we learn in our history book saying that the country was united by Britishers. Before that it was all bits and pieces. Stupid history learning in India. It is Kaudilya who united India. He brought all the small, small kings together and said, we have to feel for our country because we belong to one nation where we have got a culture which unites. We may have different languages. We may be part of different rulers. You may have small, small kingdoms, but as a nation, Bharat is Bharat. This concept of Bharat was there. Nobody knew where is the boundary. We don't know. Even now, where is Bharat was not this boundary where we have. Bharat is beyond India. It ran from different countries to different countries. We had from south to north, up to Mongolia border we had. We had beyond China as Bharat. Because we keep saying that the Veda is written in, don't say India, Bharat. And where is Bharat? It is not written in below Himalaya at all. It is not the south of Meru. It was beyond, behind Meru. It is not Meruha Dachine Parshe. It is not the Meru and left the south of Meru. It was in the China Mongolia border. Guma Islands, that I mean Guma is the place where it is written. So that is beyond this. So Bharat was once upon a time the whole nation what we could see was Bharat. In the center of Bharat was Meru. I was very happy when the prayer was chanted. I know how many of you heard this, how many of you listened to this. The center of Bharat was supposed to be, the center of world was supposed to be, the center of Asia was supposed to be, the center of the place where we could visualize was part of Bharat and that was supposed to be Meru, Himalayas, the Kailasa. And when Alexander came and he wanted to enter into India, it was only Kaudilya who said we are one nation. And seeing the largest crowd of fighters, Alexander ran back. He never invaded India. Is it because 1947 we made India together? It was much before that. Understand, when we talk about a nation, the nation building is first give the feeling that I am part of this nation. And say that I am going to be this country. And with the feeling of national feeling, therefore I feel I have to raise this country into the nation. That's where nation building comes. And what are the primary requirements? Yes, definitely we should have health. I remember Mahatma Gandhi's concept of uh, Gita, the Grama Gita. I don't know how many of you know that where Mahatma Gandhi ji got the idea of the villagers are the uh, uh, no blood system, nervous system of India and all that concept. It came from a small book called the Grama Gita, which is written by Tukadaji Maharaj in Amaravati in Maharashtra. I happened to be in that ashram for five days, very recently. I found that 17 languages it is translated. If you read it, you will know that how 
Mahatma Gandhi ji involved his concept of Gita, Grama Gita into his life. But he is one who made practically possible all these concepts. So when you make a nation building, Mahatma Gandhi ji said, we want no doctors, no hospitals in this country. Do you think that's a development? Patients, yeah. If so many doctors are coming out, you need a lot of patients, right? Luckily, there are a lot of patients. When Mahatma Gandhi ji said, we don't want hospitals, what do you mean? He mean that everyone in this country must be healthy, strong enough. What credit I have to speak on this? No medicines on this body, last 30 years. No sickness, no disease, no throat pain. No stomach problem. Every day I keep traveling at different places. Why? Because we have a great responsibility to be part of nation building. Every day we, I meet a lot of children. Last year, Vivekananda ji's uh, 150th birthday celebration, uh, commemorating that, I produced one book called Raising of India by the Rays of India. That was my book name. Rays of India are my students who are aspiring to become rulers in this country. I want to make my students to become the rulers in this country. When we aspire for that, I want to know what my children are going to do for this nation. That's what I asked. So, what is your vision? What is your mission? What is your action? Morning when I was coming, I met one of my students who just joined me today morning. B.Tech Mechanical Engineering. He asked me, he works for one uh, social organization as a volunteer. Then I asked him, what do you do? One of the things what they do is, most of the social organizations, we are into social activities. MSW students are here? Yes? Yeah. Many people say that MSW is social work. They ask them, what do you do social work? We feed poor people. How do you feed poor people? Sir, they don't have any money. They start begging on the street. Therefore, we take them into put into a house and we beg for them. What a conflict, yeah? There are people who cannot have food. They were begging. So what are you doing? Put them into a nice house. And you take the responsibility. Have you not seen? Sir, please some money, you know. What for? There are poor people. What are they doing? Sitting idle. They could have begged and you could have done some other job, no? Understand this is not nation building. This is not NGO's job. This is not serving. You understood? What is development? First is health. You must feel people healthy. And it is not just physical, more than that it is mental. Sharira manaso yoga paraspara manu prajet adhara adheya bhavena taptajya khadayoriya. It is very very essential to have a strong manas. Many people, I hear somebody telephones to me at night and say that sir I want to commit suicide. I said where are you in the hostel. So I look around and what are the facilities available. Now I will suggest you how to commit suicide. Because somebody is asking me to help. He said, sir, why are you joking when I am in real trouble? What is your trouble? Sir, tomorrow examination, I have not studied anything. <laughs> and what are you going to be? I am going to be a doctor, second year MBBS. I said, better you die. Yeah. <laughs> you are a person who cannot even write an examination of MBBS and you want to become a doctor, treating people. And I am sure they will come to you with the problems and you will give solutions or problems to them. <laughs> what you have in your life is only problem, right? Okay, if you want to commit suicide, do you think somebody will telephone and say, I want to commit suicide? Simply I will ask them if you want to commit suicide, you telephone to 10 people and then tell all of them you are committing suicide at midnight 12 o'clock. Don't tell me alone because tomorrow police and will come last telephone call is to Dr. Jaji Kumar. <laughs> and I have to go behind this. That's a big problem. Why do I waste my time? You make a police confusing by calling 10, to more, 10, 10 more people. Sir, don't make a joke, sir. Okay, then what is your problem? I want to get a good marks in my... That is very simple, getting good marks. They are staying in hostel. You go to every hostel room, beg for questions. Very simple to get marks. I'll tell you, any examination you come to me, we will give you a minimum uh, distinction mark. Because there are no new questions generated by anybody. Every good student knows which are the questions which are going to come in examination. So in a hostel, you have 10 students. Ask each one of them, please, five questions. Na? And you get 50 questions and ask them answer also. Just learn all that then you will get a good marks. I remember when I was an MSc student, algebraic geometry was introduced by sir as the first paper and I was the, uh, I got the maximum marks. But you ask me, I don't know anything. <laughs> Getting marks is very simple because you can take some question paper. 
I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is that is not important in life. We don't want the people. You know why I, I take again Kaudulya as example. He left his state, went to Chandragupta to create a new nation because he said there are a lot of tuition centers in my place. You understand there are good teachers who are teaching and what do the children do? As soon as they finish their class, go for tuition. You know why students go for tuition? Otherwise, it is very difficult to maintain them at home. <laughs> it's a place for maintenance. He asks somebody to clean this table, ask him three times to clean. The first time he will not clean properly. That's why students don't study in the classrooms. It has become a big crime. This is the only reason Kaudilya said this nation will not improve. And then he went out of his country state and then went to another state, created a place where there is value for education. I'll tell you if I'm a dancer, I come here for dance one hour, I will get more money. With all the knowledge and what you have, we don't get money at all while well, giving maths class. I don't think people are paid one lakh rupees per hour. But a dancer gets one lakh rupees. So that's what the student is seeing. The student will say the better two. Reality show is much better than mathematics because you can make a lot of money. The value of education has gone. So pathetic looking at Kerala. Kodi Shuren. One stupid program. You know the question? A ex-army major's daughter is sitting, fastest finger, the lump. And the questions were Havildar, Major, Captain, General, put in order, A, B, C, D. Six of them, none of them know the order. Can you imagine? You can't imagine because you also don't know. And the next question is so wonderful question, yeah? Keep it in order. Chagari, Cherta, Kambu, Vellam. Tenga and Sadhana. Our parents will move our cancer. And the person says, wonderful, very good. You know the answer. The status of Indian science, yeah? Indian knowledge. Do you look at this nation very seriously on a TV program and say that this is development? Eh? You know, the other day in Kannur we were discussing, I run with a lot of bright children in Kerala today. We had got 700 children in a program, full day program. And I asked some of them, how many of you know 10 countries and capitals? There were very few to come out. Give that. <laughs> 10 countries and capitals, only very few people. Let's say we want to go to America. I said, great people, yeah, we have Gandhians around. Because Gandhi said, quit India. <laughs> they started quitting India as soon as they finished their bitak. <laughs> feel pathetic. I feel pathetic when my two sons go to London to learn his masters. Because India have nothing to teach. Is it that we want? Do we want India to be a strong nation where we say that, you know, we were good in mathematics, we were good in metallurgy, we were good in chemistry, we were good in what not? Every branch of science, we were the best. Every priest on the temple knows mathematics. Arithmetic progression, geometric progression. Ekam cha dasham cha dasham cha sadam cha sadam cha sahasram cha sahasram cha ayudam cha ayudam cha ayudam cha ayudam cha etc. He chants non-stop up to 10 power 57 when other part of the world doesn't know how to count to 0 and 1. Are we not great? Biotechnology, you can see some at least Q. The Big Bang Theory cues can be seen in some of our poetries, but we lost this. The credit is, we can say that we become great only when we become educated. I am sure none of you can forget me, because you heard me. I am sure you will forget who gave you breakfast in a hotel. Right? So food cannot sustain in you for longer time. What is the best dana? In most of the temples also they write. Most of the church they will write. Most also will write. Best dana is? Annadana. Annadanam param danam vidyadana madat param anne and a trinika triptihi yavad jivam jivam. Those people who learned in Britain will have a feeling towards Britain. When you study in Central University, I am sure tomorrow you will say that that is my university. Is it your university? You want it? The ownership is a feeling which we have. This is my country. Do you want it? Yes. You may not have even one cent of land, but still I will say this is my country, this is my nation, this is my college, this is my mother, this is my wife, this is my husband, as long as you are proper. You are not my student, get out of this class, when 
you are not proper so we want citizens who are proper in nation with a feeling of nationalism with this patriotism i want to develop this but i am sure when indian prime minister goes to us he gets respect because we are one of the best in the world right correct or not as we are a very poor country we don't have science and technology development do you think the same respect is given to our prime minister no they will not consider our voice because we have strong army strong you know that you no know, american people are easily going to pakistan and catching whomever they want from pakistan do you think any other country can come to india and then do the same thing in india why because they are scared of our force i happen to be part of army air force navy together i was an in intelligence i am not in department of space i am not any sort of scientist i am in the row my job is spying so i have seen how strong is our nation it is one day our army can topple most of the neighboring countries you take all the people from pakistan putting into one sea that's very simple for us we have such a strong nation but we never invaded any other country we never started fighting with any other country for any purpose understand this is only nation who have never fought with any other country for expanding the territory there was a great nation uk what happened to that nothing now you know in the next election which they may also lose their credibility that is really in trouble america one of the richest country we say but they are the most difficult country in the world 65 percentage of the people are psychiatric patients you know? psychologically upset 35 is not because they are all indians and most poorest guy what is the culture yeah in this world i remember going to one of the uh, developed country where uh, selecting scanner for our defense i was one of the subject expert for that the scanner expert and the uh, owner of the company said sir we will have dinner in your my house we were very happy because that's only bread available nothing else in that country and i said what are you going to serve is it chapati i said fine very good because after 10 days of stay there if you get chapati from somebody it is one of the greatest thing then the next question is how many chapatis you will eat mm-hmm. is it in india when we invite somebody for dinner do you ask this question what a kanjuzia yeah? mm-hmm. i have not seen miser than this in this world and he is the owner of a company then i wanted to tell if it is very good chapati 10 if it is very bad one but i took an average and said three chapati next question what side dish you will have you have no option there is only aloo only the potato you don't see anything else you have different colors of potato that's it ultimately i agreed on his conditions and went there because having committed i should go there after going to that house i really felt that there are the poorest people in the world only 20 cm dress on that lady <laughs> you see most of the westerners are very poor they don't even have dress here we have 5 meter clothes and another 3 meter inside they have only algebra and geometry on their body <laughs> what a pathetic situation yeah we say they are the poor the richest is we are poor huh eh? don't ever say this so what is to be done you will see because of the technology development very pathetic situation which comes on to tv which says there are five channels every five channel will have five serial every day start crying from morning till evening is it development we have to exhibit do you have got real good academic programs is it not what is to be done i think there is lot of role by government from the government side academic institution students demanding for great programs what is to be done don't switch on your tv for such programs the rating has to become zero and when the rating is zero no advertisement will come when no advertisements are coming they will not produce because each program half an hour cost 25 to 30000 rupees that is all you are seeing how much time you are watching is recorded from that they turn the money and give back to somebody else understand what you should see is nice programs now we don't have any channel like maybe one channel which i love in kerala is only that safari program a lot of general knowledge to be collected i don't know how many of you will see that we have got dd programs with nan nan bharathi and we have got a, i happen to be a student in jawar uh, uh, jnu under the ECEC program 
consortium for educational communication program i am a, a trained person on e learning technologies in india i have a book on adaptive learning there is lot of programs by the ugc which is coming on tv but i am not seeing any student watching it and learning if the program standard is not good do we have that efficient mechanism to make it good you make it then that becomes an education which is for development and students should have lot of questions my fifth class student asked me a question is there any useful application for atom bomb 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock was by sms came to my telephone i started thinking is it really is there any application for atom bomb i am sure most of the students doesn't know any good application for atom bomb there are many good applications using atom bomb there are rockets which can be flown there are ships which can be flown there are big ditch you want to make for any purpose it could be for uh, flattening a village no cleaning up a mountain or maybe to make a big hiding place for uh, something what is used is atom bomb which you will have to use thousands and thousands of people on work which can be done by one just what atom bomb but we never learn this we only learn the negative part of it we never learn the positive part of it we never think about it i was very happy when a fifth class student asked me this question and i immediately gave answer i was traveling i gave an answer from whatever knowledge i have then sir you are right by the time she asked many questions to many people and then started getting answers you if you don't know anything also you can start googling right but do we use that you know that there is one khan academy.org i don't know how many students have looked at it khan academy.org you want to learn any subject he is an indian who is an american what he has done is he has made all the knowledge into one index form where any student can refer to mathematics physics chemistry any subject which you want in this world he has been congratulated by obama for his the great work he has done for consolidating the knowledge so knowledge is one which we can sell so we want to have good health good feeling of the nation with uh, good character when vivekananda walked on the american street somebody pulled his turban and he looked back and asked the question why gentlemen why you are pulling my turban they never thought from such a person who dressed not very good will have a good language fabulous english how many of us have fabulous english how many of us can speak on different topics and then that never that fellow thought that this person will speak such good english he asked we never thought you are a cultured man you are a gentleman you are a civilized man then vivekananda answered in our land culture makes a gentleman in your land the tailor makes a gentleman it's only nice dress which will depict you as a gentleman it is not it's the education it is the culture it's the character it is the social life which we have we all call, call ourselves as human being are we really being human we are all social being are we really being social recently i conducted a camp at kodungallur while going all the children were there i never give instructions after the camp while coming back we had few instructions in the camp as soon as one student reached uh, kannur at 11 o'clock yeah 11 o'clock i got a call saying sir in the train i got introduced to 40 passengers i spoke to all of them i collected lot of information do you collect information when you travel and you speak idle right even the next person who is sitting beside you don't talk to them are you call yourself or can you call yourself as a social being when you travel 3 hours together can't you speak to them get some information we don't do that i remember when i was traveling in goa to goa from kerala i had a co passenger who was on rac so we have to sit and that uh, lady was carrying a big book on agriculture of india and she is from netherlands it was costing 3500 rupees for the book once she stopped reading i said please give that book and i am sure i cannot finish reading it in the up to reaching goa is only another 10 hours i can't finish reading it then i asked madam will you please tell me what is the real content of this book she was so thrilled started explaining page by page whatever she learned she taught me so how much i earned in my travel 3500 rupees i don't have to spend the money for the book and i got a free tuition right or my train ticket is only 350 rupees those days great no can't you make lot of knowledge are we using it learn a nation with a lot of such people who are real learners 
I am sure there will be lot of people who are coming to you to learn because you will become sufficient enough, knowledgeable to teach this world. We have to become gurus for the. That is where the nation building should start. You must listen to our uh, Smriti Irani, who is in charge of the education. In uh, there are ten people sitting and talking on a panel board. She is the tenth speaker. She is able to quote one by one and say where I will agree, where I will disagree. Point by point, I have not seen her noting down. It's all put in the brain. We are so lucky we have such people, right? How many of you listen to such talks? You have to. I keep recorded and then I ask all my children to listen to that. Capture knowledge. You should have a quality program, listening, making review, understanding, judging, criticizing, comparing. That sort of a studentship in you. I am sure you are going to be the proud citizens of this country where you will build this nation. I am using words very carefully. You will become proud citizens of this country where you will make this country into a great nation. And every other country will start respecting our nation. We should have that. That is what is nation building. What is nation building? A powerful youth who says, I am going to be very strong. Where? Physically strong. Not everybody is sick. Do you think all this country has very great country when there we have got 60% of the cancer patients here? 60% of the people who can't walk? Do you call this a great country? Do you call this as a great nation? No. Everybody should physically strong, emotionally strong, intellectually sharp, socially active and spiritually higher. We are lucky that we have got a high spiritual heritage in this country. Use it. Learn it. Ajanda Ellora Caves, you will see a caved temple there. And the description says 10 years it took by 20,000 people. The modern scientific equipments if they are used, you cannot make a such a temples in 10 years. That much land is digged inside with the so perfection planning. Are we not great? We can give examples on most of the subjects in this country where we were great. Take this into the nation. We are security wise, we have to be very strong. And we have to be health wise very strong. Education wise, we are, have to be very strong. Economically, we have to be very strong. We should have a lot of things which we can import and export. You know, the world trade agreement with other countries demand that whenever we export something, we have to import something. And we import even wheat. Where we have sufficient more wheat production in India. We don't have places to store wheat in India. Agriculture revolution has proved that the rice production in India is much more than what we really require. But why rice is costing 40 rupees? Because of transportation. The tomato, I remember T.N. Shashan's book which he says that we need not be great in atomic energy but we must know how to preserve our tomatoes. The tomato cannot be preserved for more than 3-4 days. Therefore, you know what happens? It all goes waste. Therefore, he is ready to sell for 50 paisa also. And that when comes to a market, it costs you 20 rupees. Transport and cost is more. So what is development? A nice infrastructure, transportation, which brings things to you so easily. And very cheap transportation. That's what is essential. India have to work for that. India have to work for such transportation. Recently I was in Arunachal Pradesh. No electricity. No TV. No connections at all. Only I keep saying sometime I am able to connect to the other part of the world only when BSNL wind will come. That time, sometime I will be able to connect. That's it. And such places, I found one 10th class child who said, Sir, I am one among the 10th who was selected for International Science Olympiad. With all the facilities, what we are doing? You know, R. Ramachandran Nair has written a kavita saying that, Jana Nibadamaya Nirjanada, Ni Innu Mi Rajat Snehi Kundundo. Jana Nibadamaya Nirjanada. Kore Jana Nibadamaya Nirjanada. I was in one of the colleges. I asked one of the students, do you read a newspaper? Yes, sir. Which page you read? Marana Vartha. And then Marana Vartha, I can't even say that. I can't 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 say that
എന്താണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നില്ല ബിക്കോസ് ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഡിസിൻ ഹാവ് റീസെന്റ്ലി എവൻ ടു വൺ ഓഫ് ദ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് കോളേജ് ആസ്റ്റ് വൈ ആർ യു ടേക്കിംഗ് വൈ ആർ യു ഇൻ ടു സിവിൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് അമ്മ പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഒരു കാരണമില്ല വൈ ഹി ഈസ് ലേണിംഗ് സിവിൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഹി ഹാസ് നോ റീസൺ ഡു യു തിങ്ക് വി ആർ ഡയറക്ഷൻലെസ് നോ ദർ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ക്വാളിറ്റി പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് യു മസ്റ്റ് വാച്ച് വൺ ടി വി പ്രോഗ്രാം ബൈ അമേരിക്കൻ ടെലിവിഷൻ വിച്ച് സെയ്സ് വാട്ട് അമേരിക്ക ഇമ്പോർട്ട്സ് ഫ്രം ഇന്ത്യ If you get time, Google or go to YouTube and search, you will get what America imports from India. From Scotland, whiskey. And each country they list and then say from India, IITNs. The best five universities in any part of the world is almost equal to one of the IITs which we have. And we have so many such IITs, so many such central universities, so many all in the Institute of Medical Sciences. Institute for Science and Educational Research, IAST, what not? Tell me one seat if the President of India or Prime Minister of India can get admitted through back door. Do you call this country as a corrupt country? Have you seen any scientist in the Department of Space who has paid some money to get a job there? Any scientist in DRDO? It may be possible in some universities. But I am sure in a national center like IIT, AIMS, you cannot do corruptions we have very pure state one of the stalwarts in computer science i am not naming him his ambition was his son has to study computer science in iit but he couldn't get a seat and he as he got educated him in america in one of the best universities you pay money you can get seat there in india the best institutions you cannot become a student by paying money so is it india corrupt or the pure there are a lot of corruptions here in the under you know lower grades but not in the highest grade understand this is a nation where economically we are strong we are supporting when we create one iitn you know how much we are spending almost 10 lakhs per student as a nation country we are spending 10 lakhs per each student then there was one question asked by the interviewer is it not very bad that this fellow is soon after beta going abroad and serving there he is not serving india you know the answer given all the people who are staying abroad where do they send the money back to india right when anybody let them work in another country but what are they doing all the earnings they will send to india so economically we are very strong not visibly seen but physically we are very strong ഓരോ വിദേശമവരും വണികീശ്വര എത്ര പേരോ കടന്ന് ഇവിടെയുള്ള ധനം കവർന്നും ലോഡ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ കെയിം ടു ദിസ് കൺട്രി ടു സ്റ്റീൽ മണി ഫ്രം ദിസ് കൺട്രി ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദം കെയിം ടു വാട്ട് എവർ ദേ വാണ്ട് ഡു യു തിങ്ക് ഇന്ത്യ ബിക്കം പൂർ വൈ ആരോമലാം അതിനു താച്ചയശേഷമില്ല സൂര്യോഗ്ര രശ്മികൾ ആഴിയോട് എന്തെടുക്കാൻ എവ്രി ഡേ സൺ വിൽ കം ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഇവോപ്പറേറ്റ് വാട്ടർ ഫ്രം ദ see do you think the sea level has come down because of that no because it will come back as rain therefore whatever happens to this country don't worry we have a lot of people in the other nations they are sending money to us so if most of the people from india are going abroad doing different jobs in different part of the country we must be very happy because they are all earning for in bharat similarly we also have to make a lot of people to come to this place to learn then economically we become great financially we are very strong i remember when manmohan singh i was with the prime minister manmohan singh for two years working with him i remember his strongest stand was on the kyoto protocol when he has to ask to sign on the global warming he said no we are not polluting america is polluting you know what strong men in he had when he spoke that he said count the number of people in india how much we are polluting divide per head how much america is polluting divide by per head who is polluting more america is polluting more but then we have accepted more things because we were not very strong country but i am sure in few years to come 2020 2050 we will be one of the greatest nation with the maximum power in infrastructure we are developing the roads have changed railway stations have changed airports have changed but only in some places there will be local problems but otherwise economically we are very strong health wise we are improving 
lot of country people come to india for getting treatment because this is one of the place where we can treat people spiritually we are one of the highest many people from this country go abroad and then make people to heal their problems they all come here to learn lot of things but there are few people here who are looking to outside also that doesn't matter we never restricted anybody coming to this country and then living here but they should have the national feeling that's only what we believe so nation building comes only when every one of us have a feeling for the nation where we have improved infrastructure health wise better education wise better economically strong and advancement in all ways we are unfortunate that we don't have power i remember reason uh, one year two years back when there was lot of development in gujarat i made a nice article on the economic today magazine which says that empowering gujarat by power most important is electricity so i'm sure nuclear is going to be one of the substitute there may be oppositions but clean nuclear power or maybe substitute for power like wind energy or solar energy or waves is the lot of experiments happening and we are one of the strongest on that it is not the capacity is not there we can have all this but we are restricting it's like a ration because we want to sustain this sustainable development is more important than development so what is science contribution science contribution is sustainable development we have got a center in department of space most of the centers we have in different departments one of the center in department of space is nnrms national natural resource management system the job is how natural resources have to be used carefully so that the development becomes very strong the lot of departments working on this and it's a great initiative by the present government to give such a theme where it is not giving lectures and popularizing and make people to feel thrilled on this but there are lot of research institutions where we have debates on this what is to be done to build this nation stronger how science can be taken to the society i remember cochin university going back to cochin university there is a center for science for society run by professor k g nair of the electronics department where any student can go and experiment many things and learn them i remember when i took my eighth class children from palakkad from a small village took them to goa to see the laboratories and uh, science exhibitions they were really thrilled and after coming back before going there i asked them what you want to become kallu shop le saan eduthukunna aalu auto rickshaw driver electrician idakke avanu nu parane kutti kochin university center kaanugeyum goa ile kore students ait interact cheyin kaynye tirichu vanna pa njan avarodu choichu ningalku endha avanu appo avan head of the department director professor registrar dean kan idu ee board okka kandu paake avanu nal aagraham so what is required such classes such gathering will bring you happiness no but only thing which will stay in you which makes you happy is education which also can bring you money if you want you can make lot of money through education it can give you fame it is not a temporary fame where you will say hi bye i have lot of children who will do anything for me because they are my students that's a credit of a teacher even if you get anything from anybody else you will forget but learning lessons from somebody's life you will never forget in your life and you will remember them and you will respect them so this is the greatest development which india should have i am sure we are progressing for that we are exporting lot of teachers into different countries but we should do this much more stronger to become a great nation technology can make you to learn lot of things you can connect to the whole world you can talk to people today i remember tagore's poetry which says that life is filled with a number of meetings and partings no parting meetings are not everlasting but parting is everlasting i said parting is not everlasting all of you are connected to me through internet today you can google dr tp shashikumar you will see my lectures you will see my facebook uh, group i talk to people through facebook earlier i started long back i am more a netizen than a citizen today i spend a lot of time on the internet lot of children will learn lot of things we have nice groups which are learning i use social media for learning purposes i've got two groups one is destination ias group any student who are from sub fifth class also are members there they share knowledge they read knowledge they see in movie they make reviews of this write it there and learn how to make a review i was so happy that this time the oscar award was given i was comparing the reviews written by my students on my group all of them were almost same rating as what my student have done that means you can also 
review a movie saying that this is the best and they get award will you be able to predict this in your life then you are one of the best student i've got a group called i love life l i f e life is live in full enjoyment not for students for students learn in full enjoyment you reverse it you will get e f i l f l that's one group in facebook f l group ekalavya for future india leadership so a lot of people learning here so i'm using social media science and technology for connecting to people and learning together wish you all the best enjoy the day with lot of learning spirit and the spark the spark must be given from this i have used the key to open it i am sure the quiz competition the rest of the things are going to open the whole box for you and you are going to be one of the wisest uh, students who will become the real good citizens of india who will build a great nation bharat mata ki jai god bless each one